Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Uh, today I am going to explain you question number 10 of exercise 1C, sorry. 1C and this is NSM2 chapter 1. And in question number 10, uh, two tables are given and you have to find out the missing values of the tables. Alright. Uh, before starting the lecture, I will request you that if you want more help regarding your subject and if you want uh, updates, so kindly subscribe my channel and uh, for subscribing, you have to click the red button. Alright, now let's come to the question. And the question is for each of the following, Y is inversely proportional to X, copy and complete the tables. Now they are saying that Y is inversely proportional to X. So your equation will be y is equal to k over x remember that in direct proportion you write if y is directly proportion to x you write y is equal to kx but in, in in inverse proportion you will write y is equal to k over x this k is basically a constant now uh, as i have told you before that uh, first uh, whatever the question is whether it's of direct proportion or inverse proportion you have to find out the very first step is that you have to find out the value of k to make an equation so uh, or to connect an equation so to find out the value of k you need to put the values of y and x so in the table you will see that where both the values of x and y are given here you can see that over here here both values of x and y are given this is the value of x and this is the value of y so you will use these two values to find out the value of k to make an equation so the value of y is 4 put 4 over here and this k will you will write k as it is now put the value of x now uh, put value of x instead of this x now the value of x is 3 write 3 over here now 3 is dividing over here when we go to the other side it will multiply like this so the value of k will be 3 4s are 12 now make an equation equation is y is equal to k over x now put the value of k in this equation so you will get the equation so y is equal to 12 over x so this is your equation y is equal to 12 over x i have put the value of k in this main equation so now you will use this equation to find out the missing values so this equation is y is equal to 12 over x now uh, let's come to the first column in the first column you have to find out the value of x whether the value of y is given which is 24 the value of y is given and you have to find out x now you will use this main equation to find out the missing value and this main equation is y is equal to 12 over x now uh, you have to find out x uh, so you write x as it is now put the value of y which is 24 24 12 over x so you can cross multiply remember that whenever you're having fractions on both sides and in between you're having is equal to sign so you can cross multiply here with 24 there was no denominators when there is no denominator it means that denominator is 1 so that's why I have put I have put 1 now uh, we can cross multiply all right this 24 will uh, when uh, this 24 and this x is multiplying so 24 x are 24 x and 12 ones are 12 now uh, this yes this 24 is multiplying with x so it will go to the other side it will divide so x is equal to 12 over 24 you can cut 12 ones are 12 12 twos are 24 when you will divide 1 and 2 you will get 0 0.5 so value of x is 0 0.5 so the value of x is 0 0.5 now let's come to the next column which is this one yes over here the value of x is given and you have to find out the value of y all right you will use again the main equation to find out the missing value so the main equation is y is equal to 12 over x yes the value of x is given which is 2 sorry the value of x is 2 and the value of y you have to find out 
Now I will put the value of x over here. I have to find out y, so I will write y as it is. So 12 over the value of x is 2. Now I'll put 2 over here. Which time 2 is 12? It's 6 times. So 2, 6 are 12. So the, your value of y is 6. Now, so the value of y is 6. Now, let's come to the next column over here. Over here, the value of x is given. That is 2.5. And uh, you have to find out the value of y. Again, you will use this main equation to find out the missing value. So, this main equation is y is equal to 12 over x. Now the value of x is given which is 2.5. Now put the value of x. So y is equal to 12 over 2.5. When you will divide you will get the value of y. 12 divided by 2.5. So your answer will be 4.8. So your answer is 4.8. Now here you can see that the last column is left where you have to find out the value of x. I am going to raise the board to find out the value. You will use again this main equation y is equal to 12 over x. So y is equal to, I am writing the equation. Yes. All right, fine. Now uh, we have to find out in the last column, we have to find out the value of x and the value of y is given, which is 15. So your main equation is y is equal to 12 over x. So you will write y is equal to 12 over x. Now put the values. The value of y is given, which is 15. So instead of this y, I will put 15. All right, I will write 12 as it is, as it is. And this x is dividing over here and we have to find out x. So we will write x as it is. Now, there is no denominator over here. So I can write 1 over here. Remember that when there is no denominator, you can put 1. One more thing you have to remember. Whenever you are having fractions on both sides of is equal to sign, you can cross multiply. Remember that fraction must be single. So you will cross multiply. Yes, now uh, you will cross multiply. When you will multiply 15 with x, you will get 15x. And when you will multiply 12 with 1, you will get 12. 12 ones are 12. So, this is your equation 15x is equal to 12. Now, this 15 is multiplying with x. When it will go to the other side, it will divide 12 over 15. And you can cut with a table of 3, 3 4s are 12 and 3 5s are 15. Okay, now you can divide 4 and 5. 4 divided by 5 will be 0 0.8. So you write 0 0.8 over here. This is your answer. Okay. I hope that uh, you caught this sum. Uh, okay, now table B is left. I'm going to explain you table B. And uh, okay, G, now let's come to table B. There are some missing values in table B. And the relation is same that is given in the question. And the relation is y is inversely proportioned to x. So your equation will be y is equal to k over x. Again, as I have told you that to fill out the missing values, you just need the main equation which is connecting y and x. And to connect y and x, you have to find out the value of k. And to find out the value of k, you need to put the values of y and x. So in the table, you will see that where both values are given, where both values of x and y are given, so that you can put the values and you can find out the value of k. Alright, now see the second column here, over here the both values of x and y are given, this is 4 and this is 9, both values are given. So you will use this column to find out the value of k. Now put the value of y, 
the value of y is 9 so write over 9 over here and the value of x is 4 so write 4 over here okay this 4 is dividing over here and it will go to the other side it will multiply one more thing you can do is you can cross multiply also you can do this with both methods but uh, I'm using the property or I'm using the rule of the equation which is that if something is dividing on one side when it will go to the other side it will multiply so this uh, 4 is uh, dividing over here when it will go to the other side it will multiply 9 multiplied by 4 is equal to k so the value of k is 30 6 so the value of k is 36 so your main equation will be y is equal to k over x so your equation will be y is equal to 36 over x y is equal to 36 over x all right now let's come to the first column okay now you will use this main equation to find out the missing values now see the first column in the first column the value of x is given which is 3 and you have to find out the value of y you will use this relation to find out the missing value and this equation is or relation is y is equal to 36 over x why i am using the word relation because basically this equation equation is showing the relation between x and y all right now y is equal to 36 over x now the value of x is given which is 3 and you have to find out the value of y so you will write y is it and 36 over 3 the value of x is given which is 3 when you will divide you can cut and you can divide it's up to you okay i'm going to cut it three ones are three three ones are three three twos are six so the value of y is 12 the value of y is 12. now let's come to the next column which is this one where you have to find out the value of x and the value of y is given which is 8 All right, you will use this main equation y is equal to this main equation to find out the value and the main equation is y is equal to 36 over x. All right, now put the value of y, the value of y is 8 and 36 over x you will write as it is. There is no denominator over here so, so you can put 1. Again, as I've told you that whenever you're having fractions on both sides, remember you must be having a single fraction. So you are having a single fraction on this side and you are having a single fraction on the other side. So whenever you are having the single fraction on both sides of this is equal to sign. So you have to cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply it. When you will multiply 8 with x, you will get 8x is equal to 36. When you will multiply 36 with 1, you will get 36. Now this 8 is multiplying with x. When we go to the other side, it will divide. So you write x is equal to 36 over 8. So when you will divide 36 with 8, you will get 4.5. So the value over here is 4.5. Now the last two columns are left, so I'm going to raise the board. I hope that you got it. You just need to remember the main equation, which is y is equal to 36 over x. So your main equation is y is equal to 36 over x now in this column you have to find out the value of x and the value of y is given which is 25 i have written the information now i'm going to solve it the value of y is given which is 25 so instead of this y i'm going to write 25 and 36 over x i'll write it as it is there is no denominator over here when there is no denominator you can put one Again, you will use uh, the rule whenever you are having single uh, fractions on both sides of this is equal to sign. You can cross multiply. So, I am going to cross multiply. When you will multiply 25 with x, you will get 25x. And uh, one, when you will multiply 36 with 1, you will get 36. 
Now this 25 is multiplying with x when it will go to the other side, it will divide. So the value of x will be equal to 36 over 25. 1.44 so this is your value of x now let's come to the last uh, part our uh, last column where the value of x is given which is 25 and uh, you have to find out the value of y so now the equation is y is equal to 36 over x y is equal to 36 over x now I'll put the values to find out the value of y. Now the value of x is given, which is 25. So put 25 instead of this x. Yes. So now y is equal to 36 over 25. You can cut and this cannot be cut. So just so you need to divide. When you will divide it, you will get 36 divided by 25. So your answer is 1.4. This is also 1.4. I hope that you got the sum and uh, thank you very much.